Claudia Frenzel, Elena Tilipman of Wanted International. Welcome to Culture Buzz. Thank Hello. you. And thank you for giving us the opportunity to ask you about your interest in Israeli culture, especially music. When did it start and why? On my side, it started in 2003 when I came to Israel the first time. I was already working as a music journalist in Germany and I knew a few Israeli bands and I ended up in a record store getting out with uh, amazing music from Israeli bands like Hadak Nahash, Mosh Ben Ari and all this scene which was actually developing at that time. And I started to promote it in uh, Germany in the radio station in magazines like putting people's uh, nose to Israeli music because there was a strong cliche only about Klezma. And yeah, somehow when you are the first one, you're getting a specialist quite soon. And uh, this is how it started on my side. And uh, Alina joined me in 2008. She made me, actually. <laughs> uh, because I started being interested in Israeli culture through the Jewish angle. I'm uh, Jewish, so but I didn't grow up in a Jewish environment. But um, after traveling to Israel a couple times, I also got interested in, in what is going on here besides the regular Jewish thing, music thing. When I met Claudia, she basically hooked me with this whole Israeli music scene here, and uh, since then we've been working together. Well, lucky us. <laughs> And uh, in German, I think you say Danke schön. Danke <laughs> uh, You're welcome. Toda <laughs> raba. Uh, I guess that uh, the next question will naturally be when you look at Germany, when you look at Europe today, and you have to evaluate the level of interest there in Israeli music, how will you describe it? Uh, it's hard maybe to give a number in percentage, but what we experience in the past years is whenever you give people a chance to taste authentic Israeli music, not the cliché, like the normal music which is happening here in the clubs and the, in the festivals, if, if people can taste it, they normally uh, are totally impressed and they love it. Like if it comes to a band like Yemen Blues, which we work with, um, we. I, I, I hardly remember another band which I worked with where so many emotion from the audience was involved actually. People are uh, getting to the, to the stage. In the past I was not normally hiding the fact that the band is from Israel because I was like not wanting to uh, ending up in a discussion like yeah but politics and all these kind of things. But now it's easily going uh, out of my mouth saying, yeah, they are from Israel because they present an art and culture which presents Israel and uh, people are not putting it in one corner anymore. Yeah, I think uh, it's the same way. I think for now there's a lot of um, unknown, there's a lot of uh, missing knowledge about Israeli music. I think most of the people, if you say Israel, they automatically think of politics, but what we're trying to do with our work is to build a bridge towards this audience, potential audience, because we know it's not about politics. Culture is not politics, it's an own language. And I think no matter where you come from, you can definitely speak the language of culture, of music, of uh, uh, other kind of arts, fashion, it doesn't actually matter. So we're trying to build this bridge and tell the people what it is and show them and give them the possibility to taste this music. Talking about the cultural bridge, you are now uh, visiting Israel, Jerusalem, Tel Aviv, you have been to Elat, the jazz festival. And I understand that you have with you a German-Israeli band called Ofrin. Yes. This is another example, I think, of a beautiful uh, cultural bridge between Germans and Israelis. What can you tell us about Ofrin? Actually, this bridge we didn't build because Ofri, Green, the singer, she's Israeli originally. She moved to Germany, I think, seven, seven years. years ago. Mm -hmm. And she started actually her musical career in Germany with German musicians, of course, because she didn't look for other Israelis to make music with. And uh, it's a normal pop, uh, electro, avant-garde band, and uh, it isn't something special Israeli, but uh, yeah, it's like she has this uh, cultural, uh, uh, what is it, background, and. Uh, 
she is Israeli, but it's not really affecting or making her better or like seen more or less. It's like it's just her background, and it's a great band. We uh, actually do a premiere of the new program here in Israel, like as a pre-test, and only after Israel, uh, Germany is get the uh, the taste of the new program. So it's nice to test it here. In the whole and for the German guys in her <laughs> band, actually, it's the first time ever being here. Yeah. Ladies, I want to thank you very much and I wish uh, Wanted International all the best. Thank Thanks. you. <laughs>